Ouch! This is what happens if you don't hit the stud when you hung your plants on the ceiling. Enough of the creative intro, let's get right into it! This is a houseplant tour! So I've been doing so many nursery tours and you guys have been asking me can you do a updated houseplant tour? We want to see what you do with your new plants and see uh, my updated new houseplant collection. So there it is! I'm gonna start with my kind of like a workspace. This is this is supposed to be a dining room but we kind of just like work and eat here at the same time. So this is my first uh, batch of plants I want to show you. If you haven't watched my first houseplant tour, you can go up here, I'll link it right here so you can see like kind of like the before and after uh, of my houseplants, what, how much they've grown within these two months. Start from this guy. What am I gonna do to you? I can't punch you, I can't beat you, even though you hit me but I still love you. You can, this is a Syndopsis pictus. Uh, some people call it uh, sad and pothos. That's kind of the common name, but it's not a pothos. And uh, you can see like some of the leaves are actually having these brown edges. Uh, that's actually from the sunburn when I just got it. I was such a new plant mom. I just woke up one day, I realized, oh, I need plants. So I went out to like Walmart, Home Depot, and uh, my like closest nursery, I just picked up a bunch of stuff. I picked up probably 15 plants, like just that one day. But yeah, when I just got this guy, this guy was like pretty short, pretty short like that. So this guy has grown so much. I took so many haircuts for this guy because I wanted to, you know, give some uh, some of it to my friends and families. But this guy just keeps growing. Look at it. It's about to reach the floor. I'm so happy. And the next one, I got this Caladium White Queen from a local nursery called Armstrong Garden Center in Pasadena. This guy was, I believe, like $12, $13. Um, I actually did a nursery tour video as well. I will link it up here if you're interested. You can, uh, you know, check it out. So when I got this guy, this guy was a lot smaller, and it's been probably less a month. And she just multiplied. It's crazy. And Josh can get you guys down there. You can see all these new shoes keeps popping up. Look at these little hats. I just love the color. It's so beautiful. So moving on to this shelf. So excuse my dirty mirror. It's just from the water spot. This guy is a um, variegated syngonium. I got it from a plant swap. I also did a video about that plant swap. Uh, I will link it up here if you want to check it out. I swapped this guy with a bunch of my cuttings. I was like, drop everything on the table. I'm like, I want this guy. This one this is a brand new leaf. I'm really happy. This guy is just uh, awesome. And this is also from a plant swap, if you remember from that video. This guy is a Monstera Adesaniae. I put this little wooden stick in so this guy could climb. And she's been doing so well. These are all brand new shoes and uh, as well as this tiny little thing. And the next one I want to show you is my fellow dungeon glory awesome. I also did a video. It's a live unboxing a video about this guy. I got this guy from eBay auction. Uh, I was really surprised I was able to get it. And this big leaf is so gorgeous. Look at the striking veins. I have a thing for these velvety leaves with striking veins. And also this guy has a little baby. Um, I put the plant in a six inch pot. I probably should put it in a eight inch or a bigger pot just so this part of the roots uh, can be covered but actually it's fine because as long as the part of the roots with the leaves growing that's covered we're good. So um, it's, it's doing pretty good now. I might transfer it into a bigger pot soon. The next one I want to show you is this Oxelius how pretty it is. I also got it from Armstrong Garden Center for like three bucks, something like that. 
this guy is so pretty it also like close up during the night or when the temperature changes and when the sun comes out it will just open up and this guy loves bright sun so that's why she is in the prime premium spot which is like the closest to the window and the next is my watermelon peperomia this guy is really hardy I feel like just my own experience I feel like this guy is one of the easiest houseplants to have just you, oh, she is just so easy and she just grow like crazy look at these new leaves and it's blooming this is this is actually a bloom I have two watermelon peperomia another one is over here so they are both the same plant but uh, they do look very different this one is more of a mature plant uh, I, and I think they're just you know um, definitely different species as well and I got it from the same seller it's pretty crazy I got it from downtown uh, one of a small plant shop this guy is also very fertile look at all these babies down there these curious little heads. I'm so obsessed. I love my watermelon peperomias. I have my heart fern over here. If you check out my uh, big box store tour, which I'll link up here, you will see that I was so excited. I got it from Lowe's. Uh, this guy was only three something and it's gotten a lot bigger since I've got it. I have this little whole year canosa compacta back there. This guy really isn't doing anything. So if uh, again, if you watch my, oh, wait a second. Maybe she, oh, I think she's finally doing something. If Josh can get you guys in here, look at that. And let's see, let's find, I saw something. Oh, and look at here. Could you see it? Is that clear? <gasps> ah, that's new signs of growth. I'm so happy. This guy literally, it didn't do anything since I got it. Probably four or five months ago. Just chilling. Hey guys, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. It's finally doing anything. Okay, and the next one is my... Uh, Ethereum Vichy I order from Nessie Tropical. I also had a live uh, video which I'll link up here. It's an unboxing video. I gotta say, since I got this probably two weeks ago, huh, babe? Mm -hmm. Probably two yeah, weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, and look how much she's grown. You've got to check out that video to know how much this guy has grown. Look at this little baby. It's about to unfurl. I am just so happy. Oh, this little wrinkly little heads. They're so cute. And the baby back here. The reason I put my angel wing back there is because when I put it closer to the sun, the leaves are so easy to get burned. So I have to like kind of like put it behind. Uh, and it's actually really happy if you remember I unboxed this really really sad plant now It's not sad anymore Look at it. It had four leaves at the time Let me remind you and let's count it together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve That is just insane within how many a month, right? Probably a month ago Oh, not even a month from three weeks ago and I'm just I'm I gotta I have a lot of respect for this plant now so this guy is actually the most expensive plant I have collected so far this guy is uh, $55 is from Etsy it was also shipped to me probably two weeks ago along with this guy uh, they arrived pretty much the same time this is a Anthurium clarinervium. It's also an epiphytic plant, so it likes its soil to be, uh, you know, like not so compact, not so heavy. So I used a lot of orchid bark along with my houseplant soil uh, to mix 
the soil for this guy. This guy doesn't like to stay wet the entire time, so I kind of just like let the top layer of soil dry a little bit before I water it. Um, yeah, and she looks so happy. I group all my plants together to kind of increase the humidity. Um, and it's doing the trick so far. Okay, the next guy is a, a Begonia Rex. I got it from Warma for about $3. When I got it, it was such a small baby and now it's a full plant too. My next little baby. I know, don't judge. I think I probably put this guy in a too big of a pot. I know. Uh, I just felt like I will do anything for you. I will put you in the biggest pot I have and you enjoy it. You enjoy this by yourself. I might transplant it into a smaller pot. I might, I'm still thinking, but it looks pretty good so far. And this, I got also a from an Instagram friend called Christina. It's a uh, Chinese manna plant, also called Pilea piperomios. When I just got these guys from her, they were tiny little babies. So within two months, Look at it. I can't wait for the babies to grow up and have their own babies. Moving on down here, I have these two uh, bird's nest snake plants. This was really my first ever YouTube video. I was kind of filming how I separate the babies and the mother. This is a mother and the babies are doing really well. So for you guys who kept asking for an update, here's the update. Their mothers are so proud of them. And down here, I have two um, staghorn ferns. I put them down here because, you know, they are epiphytes, they love humidity, and they actually absorb, uh, absorb moisture from their fronds, their leaves. So I group them together with a kind of like a big cup of water to keep the humidity high. So this is my Monstera Deliciosa, and oh, by the way, this leaf I'm holding is brand new and like I'm so obsessed with it. These guys are new shoes and these guys just open up. I love Monsteras. I think they're so cool and so there's a theory about why they have fenestrations on their leaves is because they live in the wild so you know like in the jungles and stuff in the forest so when the wind blast it could just go right through these holes instead of tearing the leaves apart so it's sort of like a survival uh, mechanism and over here i have my aloe vera they grow so well this guy just shot up so quickly like this and i'm very impressed if you are a very 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 new beginner get an aloe vera and this guy is a old man cactus cactuses and succulents are just so easy to grow and put them on your windowsill they look so pretty and this guy is a um, dragon fruit tray cutting it's also a cactus and it's so cute waving its little arm this, these two are my tiny baby cactuses. I got them from uh, Cactus Mart in Palm Springs. I will link the video up here. I also did a video. It was such an awesome nursery and it was so cool in the middle of the desert. And if you get a chance, you should definitely visit. And these guys are uh, air plants. Josh got them for me from uh, Trader Joe's. They were like three, four, four dollar each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were so cute. So this guy was a lot smaller when he got it. I kept spraying them and they just start to turn red, which is so cool because it, his hair color matches your, his face. But this is uh, Josh's favorite plant. So this is a Dracaena Florida Beauty. Look at the variegations on the leaves. I was so obsessed. We got it from Armstrong Garden Center as well. This guy was like $16. Um, we were trying to, you know, like keep the variegations on the leaves. So we put this uh, right next to the window so it gets the best sun. And this is a um, Singonian pink lady. Look at the new shoots in here. 
I'm really happy. Spring is just a magical time. The leaves don't grow one at a time. They grow like three at a time. It's crazy. Moving on to my spider plant. This was the, my uh, one of the very first plants I've got. I got this guy from Home Depot. I think it was only 12 or 14 dollars. This guy was a small little guy when I got it. And now, look at it. If it was a mother when I got it, now it's a grandmother. <laughs> this is a uh, bird nest fur. I will link the video up here if you want to know how I mounted this guy. This guy is doing so well. Some of you were asking for an update. This is an update. This guy has grown a lot, a lot bigger if you watch my other video. So it's really healthy and happy. I'll show you like inside two babies are growing out one and two so in the morning I will just take a spray bottle and spray the center of it to give the babies some you know humidity and as long as the, as uh, also as well as the leaves so this is all in this workplace and I'm going to take you right here to this shelf in front of me so that's our kitchen there's like very low light so I don't keep plants in there um, except a fake one <laughs> but okay this is a little shelf facing directly to a west facing window and I have my sand and puzzles is also a synapsis pictus over here uh, I think the species name is exotica exotica yeah and I just so proud of it some of the leaves are literally like the size of my hand. It's so pretty and I know some people don't have good experience with it. They said like they take forever to grow. But um, just for me, they're just such fast growers. And that's one new shoot and that's one furling and that's coming out. They, these are all unfurling. I think they are pretty happy at my house. And this guy is in orchid mix and mixed with uh, some very few like house plant mix. So um, it drains really well and also it holds a lot of moisture for this guy. I water it once a week and it's happy. It doesn't need a lot of TLC. And this guy and this they are caldex plants. They are supposed to grow leaves for me, but um, it's been a while. They haven't done anything. I'm just being patient and waiting for them. And this guy next to it is also a caldex plant. This guy is doing so well. This little thing I potted up in this um, houseplant mix with a lot of perlite so it drains really well it doesn't like to stay in wet soil so I actually water this guy probably once every two weeks do look at all these cute and fragile heart-shaped leaves I'm so obsessed and this is a uh, neon pothos I just put it in a little bowl uh, we got this cute little bowl from friends from Paris. I don't remember the artist's name, but I just thought it was really cute. That's that. And oh, this is a Begonia Angel Wing Cuttings. I'm propagating. This guy is doing so well. That's a new leaf. And these are some beautiful roots. Don Don! What are those? This is my sweet potato vine. Look how many stamps I have now. And look at the beautiful roots. It's amazing. It's probably time for me to change water because there's some algae growing. So anyways, and their proud mother is right here. It's looking a little bald and sad because I've been harvesting this guy and putting them in here. But I probably harvested this sweet potato six, seven times. And now look, it's growing more. Three more shoots are coming out. And that's our wedding picture right here. Ah, we got married three years ago, almost three years, two years and probably a half. Um, I was finishing up my last year of college and we decided to get married. 
So marriage and college, there's no conflict, guys. You can get married and stay in college. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so, and here is my uh, little propagation station right here. This is some um, uh, civil blue I'm propagating. Some of them are growing roots. I'm really happy. And this guy is also growing roots. That's why the new shoots are coming out. Uh, I might give it to some friends and I might sell some cuttings. I don't know yet. And that's actually the mother. If you're looking for it, I've been harvesting that guy for so long. I just keep getting cuttings. So it's like pretty short right now. It's not really trailing, but that guy grows so quickly. So it will trail again. And this is a um, colocasia elephant ear. So I have a three leaves curse with this guy. Anytime a new leaf comes out, the old leaves die. So this guy is about to come out and this guy is dying. So I posted on Instagram a couple times about this and people were like, oh, I have the same problem. Why is my old leaves keeps dying? So, you know, if as long as you have new leaves coming out, the old leaves have to, you know, sacrifice itself in order to give the best, um, I guess, like condition, <laughs> opportunity or whatever you call this to the new guy. And every time your new shoes come out, the leaves going to be the biggest, bigger than the previous one. And the previous one is already so big. The size of my face. Uh, Colocation is taro plant. You can eat the the tuber as well as leaves. You can like fry them as chips and stuff. I heard it's really amazing. Here I have a, a little tiny strings of heart cutting. I'm trying to propagate. I have uh, some strings of bananas. I'm trying to propagate. The roots are really growing really long. And here is my watermelon pepperoni. I'm propagating. There's some roots growing and some pothos. And here are also some watermelon peperomia. Yeah, look at them. They're growing like little leaves down here. So each leaf you have that you're propagating, you're gonna have a full plant. So basically I'm having two plants over here soon. I'm so excited. This is so magical, isn't it? I have some um, fern leaf cactus I'm propagating. They are growing roots. They're growing really well back and front. So I'm going to transplant this guy in soil soon when the roots gets a little longer. And okay, this is my sad story. I do kill plants too, okay? I did kill my alocasia. I did a video about it and the update is here. Uh, my alocasia didn't survive the fungus nights. All of a sudden, it just gets all these flies. And I tried to put sand, I tried like a few strategies, but it just get like weaker and weaker. And I didn't want it to affect my other houseplants. So I moved it outside, but it didn't really survive. All the leaves turned yellow. So I eventually just threw it away. And these are the tubers I got, like I got probably six, seven tubers. And they didn't do anything. They just kind of like, you know, in there i don't know what's going on but i'm still have a hope for them i'm hoping that they will eventually sprout okay guys now moving on to my living room by the way my dog is chilling in the patio hey baby just don't bark okay we're filming thank you for your cooperation <laughs> okay so my first plant i have in my living room that's Right next to a window is a golden pothos. When I got this guy a few months ago, it was climbing probably over here. And now this guy just well, couldn't stop climbing. In fact, look at this guy. There's like no no more moss pole for it to climb. So it went like across. <laughs> the aerial roots are trying to reach for the moss pole. It's pretty funny. It's like went across here. I have my beautiful philodendron heart. Philodendron. Yes, heart philodendron. Just a green form philodendron. Look at that heart shaped leaf. I'm just so obsessed. You, if you guys had watched my first uh, plant video, 
plan your video and then you watch this one you're gonna see the big difference how much this guy has grown Pro I'll say from here down didn't exist it two months ago and now they just like trail like crazy they just keep growing and growing they're like two happy little arms yay <laughs> so this guy grew really well and uh, yeah look at all these new shoes keeps coming out again spring is magical here why do i have an empty pot because I also killed a calla lily very recently. The guy all of a sudden just psh, went sideways and died. And I still trying to recover from the traumatic experience. That's why I haven't moved it home yet. It's it has a special spot in my heart. So I haven't moved it. It just the home is still there, but the plant is gone. Anyways, this is a um for the Dungeon Congo Rojo I got from uh, Rolling Greens Nursery. I did a video about that one. I will link it right here. Rolling Green Nursery was awesome. It was so beautiful. Um, we did an awesome tour. It was so good. And of course, I have to get a baby. And this guy was 1075. It was pretty insane. It was huge. Um, so within, when I just got that, like two weeks ago, this leaf didn't exist. And now look, within these two weeks, this whole leaf came out, brand new. These guys grow so fast and grow so well. I'm extremely happy. But I just got this little plant stand from Marshalls for like 20 bucks. And I think it looks, it goes perfectly together. This wooden wall back here is actually my fab shelves. We were thinking if we want to put the shelves down uh, or not, but we were like, nope, too much work. So we just like shove them down here. So it's like a kind of like a backdrop, which is pretty cool. And I put some plants up here. I have this Hoya Abovada, Lucky Bamboo, Baby Sign Rose. And here are my <laughs> very proud avocado collections this guy i have it for a probably two months now now it's finally giving me leaves it's so pretty i love it and the roots looks pretty insane too i'm thinking i might transplant them into soil uh, probably when the leaves get a little bigger this is my ficus lorata my fiddle leaf fig this is a um, ficus elastica. It's a little baby rubber tree. I'm excited to see it grow. This guy has been giving me probably one leaf at a month, uh, per month. So I had it for over two months and these two are brand new. Here is just, we went hiking and then I was like, okay, I want the stick. So I brought the stick home, I washed it and I hung my eucalyptus on here. So now I have a backdrop <laughs> I don't know what do you think I think it's pretty cool and it's free so it kind of like tied the texture with my um, TV console together you have the wood there wood here but <laughs> here is my bedroom Woo! so I have three popos up there they are actually in the same plants you saw outside <laughs> I just moved in here to just so it looks prettier uh, I don't have anything up on my shelf yet, but I built the shelf uh, specifically to put plants. Uh, but I move them like inside and outside all the time, try to find the best lighting. Sometimes in the bedroom, we keep the curtains shut, like, so it doesn't get enough like lighting as outside. So I like to move them outside, but sometimes I put them, I move them inside for the pictures or I just need some green in my bedroom. My photos up here, these are all from uh, propagation. I cut them all from my other photos. So they all took and I'm very happy. It's been three months and they these are all new leaves. So I'm really happy. They just look really cute over here. And I have this uh, dry eucalyptus across the bed. I don't have to put water in it. I don't have to do anything. It just looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. And here, oh, that's uh, my artwork over there. And here is 
I put a uh, snake plant right next to my husband's side of the bed so it like snake plant really cleans air really well so I put it over here to clean his filthy side <laughs> of the bed <laughs> and I have uh, this Jacana next to my bed. Uh, I just love this guy. I love the look of it. I love it next to a mirror and just the whole vibe. I love it. Uh, but I know it's a little further away from the window even though our window is huge. Uh, yeah, I, I start to get brown tips probably from underwatering. I don't water this guy like for weeks and weeks and weeks but um, it's doing really well. There are some like new growth coming out from right in the middle of it and also um, If you watch my previous if you watch my previous Houseplant tour, you know that I um, I like pulled all these leaves off because my dogs keep chewing on them But now you see like a month later they came back this plant is so resilient, so strong. They just like, they can take anything. So as soon as I pull them out, the new growth psh, shoot out, shut out. So yeah, this guy has been doing really good. Look at all the new growth, look at right here. Look how cute that is. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my house plant tour video. I've recorded a lot of plants since uh, my last plant tour video probably. I had about 30, 30 plants in that video and now I have over 50 plants in this video. Just slowly, you know, slowly, slowly, you don't even know how that happened, but one plant and one plant and two plants here and there I'm just like, I don't even know how I grew this collection. I honestly don't think I buy that many plants. Like you guys watch my nursery tour videos, you know I buy usually one plant every time I go plant home. But I, I do get a lot of plant mails. But I also propagate them and make new plants. So yeah, I just really happy with my collection right now. So thank you for watching guys. It was a really fun tour to do and it was really fun to introduce my plant babies to you guys. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Please turn on the notification button because I do live all the time and I do spontaneous live whenever I feel like it. So if you want to catch my live videos, please turn on the notification. Again, I love you guys. Bye!